if you don't have something, it's because you don't actually want it. Now, that might sound crazy because we have all these wants and we don't have a lot of things that we think that we want, right? But the reason why is because, really, think about it. Do you want, do you actually want the things that you think you want? Or do you just like the idea of those things? And that's the reason why you're not getting them. Because you like the idea of them. You actually like the wanting of them rather than the having of them. For example, uh, we all want money. We all want more money, right? At least most of us. Uh, do you actually want more money? A lot of us want a relationship. And this is something that I've realized too. Do you actually want a relationship? Now, for money, uh, do you want to work extra hard to make that money? Do you want to level up all areas in your life so that you can maintain all the hours of work and the money? Do you actually want to make more money? Or would that actually be very stressful? The flip side of that is do you like complaining about not having enough money? And you might say, no, of course, of course I don't like complaining about lack of money or of course I don't like feeling like I can't pay my bills but do you? Doesn't that make life exciting if you're living month to month, paycheck to paycheck? You can tell your friends, oh, I'm, you know, I, I can't go out, I have to save money, or oh, I can't do this, or, you know, uh, you know, you, you get to complain, ah, oh, that's so expensive, oh, those people are so lucky, and stuff like that, right? We, we actually like complaining a lot. And so if you took away, if you took away one thing that you complain about all the time, well, you would actually be depriving yourself of that thing that you love, right? So here's the flip. We only do what we love to do. And that means our bad habits. That means gossiping, that means complaining. We only do those things because we love them or else we wouldn't be doing them. And it, maybe it's a twisted kind of love, but it's a, a love nonetheless. If it was taken away from you, you'd probably miss it. That's why dieting is so hard. That's why getting good habits, we know what we should be doing, but we don't want to commit to to the deprivation of the things that we would lose, which is, well, I want to lose weight or get into shape. I have to cut out donuts and I have to exercise, right? No, you don't want it. That's why you're not in shape. That's why you're not healthy because you don't actually want it. In addition to that, let's, let's go to the relationship example. You want a relationship, right? Do you? Relationships are hard. Uh, we can get emotionally burned out. We might like the idea of sex or companionship, but can you actually put up with another person for however long, for, for years, for months, for years? Uh, do you actually want a relationship? Or do you just want the selfish parts of a relationship that, uh, like sex or some quick affection or someone someone to care 
or text you, right? Um, and that's why you sabotage yourself because you don't actually want a relationship at that point. If that's all you want, then you don't actually want the relationship. You want sex. You want some other things, right? Uh, but you can't have those really in a, in a healthy way without wanting the relationship first. Same thing with money. You can't actually have the money until you want to do the work <laughs> to get it. And then at that point, you don't even care about the money. You just, you care about your passions. You care about helping others. You care about producing high quality things. Uh, and that's the only sustainable way to do it. So ask yourself, really, really ask yourself. I want you to ask yourself, do I want the things that I want? And you might be surprised by the answer.